Hey, good morning, Bob. Well, as you can see, we're in the center right now. We've been checking it out all morning. A really great space. Obviously, this is the workout area. Really important for these firefighters to focus on their physical health, but Bruce, also the mental health. You're the deputy chief here. Tell us about the importance of this new space and what made it possible. Sure. So we, uh, we applied for a grant, so we received federal grant and state funding to make this space possible. Uh, we're going to have 100 firefighters that's going to come through here this week to do uh, physicals that are going to look at uh, cancer screening and also behavioral health as well as their, their physical health. And we have this space that's uh, focusing on their physical and mental health. Yeah, so. it's awesome. You said they didn't have this access to this equipment, right, before, so definitely a need? Correct. We had some smaller pieces of equipment in our different fire stations, but this is now a, a state-of-the-art facility that our, all of our members are able to use. Great. Okay, and regarding those physicals, so they're getting those right here. People are coming in. Who's administrating those? Correct. So we have Frontline Mobile Health, which is a company that specializes in firefighter physicals for emergency responders, and it uh, meets the NFPA 1582 standards, which is an, an in-depth physical that, that looks at everything uh, from their mental health to the cancer screening because firefighters are exposed to carcinogens during and after fires and also the stressors of their, their, their jobs on emergency calls. Uh, that's why we have the behavioral health specialists as yeah. well. Definitely really important. It's a three-hour process, right, those Correct. physicals. Correct. Okay, so we talked about the physical health, also the mental health, though. The behavioral specialist will be in that room, and they have access to her all year long, right? Correct. They, uh, they meet with our behavioral health specialist on a quarterly basis, and then they also have access to her 24-7, uh, uh, and any time that there's a crisis or, or anything that, that they would need. That's great, because obviously that's just as important as the physical, right? Correct. You need to make Correct. sure they're good on their mental health, yes. too. All right. right, well, thank you so much for that, Bruce. Remember, the grand opening is happening tomorrow. That's at 6.30, and everyone's invited to that ribbon cutting. But for now, back to you guys. You can always get local stories right here on YouTube, but go ahead and hit that subscribe button to get notifications to stay in the know.